Welcome to my quiet Daisy life. This is our survivor. Her name is Daisy. In this series, we intend to live a quiet life among the killers. We seek to stay alive under the radar, hunting, gathering, building, all while having to constantly watch out for other survivors and threats. You are a huge part of this series. We will have topics of conversation each episode, and as each episode ends, I will read your comments. I hope to live a long and quiet Daisy life and get to know you all very well. What is good, everybody, back with our girl Daisy in Daisy. In this series, we're just trying to live a quiet life among the killers, trying to just survive as many days as possible. Every episode is a day. It's slow paced, it's fun, it's chill. I hope it makes your day a little bit better. Let's see, can we fill this up? It is already filled up. That would explain it. All right, in every episode I ask you a question, and then I read your comments on the next episode and we get to know each other. We took a little break from Daisy. She's back today, obviously, and the question is, well, it's kind of a question. You get free for life whatever the last restaurant you ate at was. So what was the last restaurant you ate at let me know in the comments and you get it free for life and tell me how you feel about that. Like, are you happy? Are you, did you go to like Jack in the Box and now you regret it? <laughs> uh, let me know how you feel about that. I'll tell you mine in a few. Hmm. I'll tell you mine in a few. And something that's happening in this series is we're checking in. Some of you are like, what's up with Daisy? Did she die? Well, obviously here she is. It is a public server, so anyone could be anywhere at any time. I'm looking to dodge people and just live a quiet life up here in the north. Um, reminds me of a great Michael Scott quote. Michael Scott from The Office. He was making a uh, video on Diversity Day, if you remember this episode. And uh, he quotes the great Abraham Lincoln. He walks in and says... Abraham Lincoln once said, if you are a racist, I will attack you with the North. And those are the principles I carry with me in the workplace. And then he just stops. That's one of my favorite quotes of the whole series. That's like my favorite TV show of all time. Blade is always good. We have food, but we did run out of propane. Our, our gas can is on empty. Tempted to go down and see whatever is down there. So, um, after this episode, um, later in the week, we have Daisy's sister, Esme. She is on the map, fresh spawn, and her goal is going to be, she's way the heck down there somewhere on the coast, to travel the coastal highway, survive as a freshie, all the way home to Daisy's base. It'll be a mini-series. It's fun to be a fresh spawn, and then we'll jump right back into Daisy's series. So this will be one episode this week of this series. Get caught up if you fell behind, if you just stumbled on this video. And I believe on Thursday will be a fresh spawn of uh, our girl Esme, who's going to be fresh. And... Go check this out down here. It's gonna be fresh, and that the challenges of being a fresh spawn on a public server. So it's fun just to hit that refresh button and start over. And I don't want to lose this survivor. So we're gonna do that, have her make her way all the way back up to Daisy's base, see if Daisy's base is still even intact. Because I don't know if it's even if it's been raided. It's been a little while since I've been there. So we're going to find that out either today or on Thursday. Well, Thursday her journey would begin. And that series will be a lot like this one. It'll be ask you questions, read your comments. It'll be really cool. Uh, get some zombie radio going when she's running the highway. Put the headphones in, listen to our zombie radio station, which is always fun. Be cool to find some extra gear here, pickaxes. We're, we're discovering how rare pickaxes are. Shout out to OG Wakanobi. 
um, on Twitch and uh, getting a YouTube channel going. He looked it up and there's, I think he said 14 to 20 pickaxes on the server at any given point. That's not a lot. Uh, we got a pub. I think this is a gas zone. So if we hear anything like flying through the sky, we've got to get out of here ASAP. We got a medical facility. We've got a pub. Uh, I think those are some barracks over there. I don't see any alive or dead zombies. Like I said, we are... There's a live zombie. Two of them. We are somewhat in sissy mode. Like, not looking to fight it out with anybody. If we see anyone, we're backing out. So PvP is your thing. This probably isn't the playthrough for you. But, that's what makes this so exciting. Is If it's forced upon us, it is a full-on adrenaline dump. Because we have a lot invested in this survivor. A lot. Yeah, so I wanted this episode as like, uh, hey, I'm still here, still alive, and we got something new and exciting coming Thursday. Daisy's sister, Esme, finding her way home. Empty backpack. And I did ruin my fire axe, so... Maybe I should peek at a map and, and head to get a fire axe. Not gonna find one here. That's for sure. Now let's get clear of this area before I take my eyes off of anything. 308s, cool boon hat. Boon hat or boonie hat? I'm gonna tell you, um, what I ate last and what I get free for life, but I'm going to let you guess it first. So I'll tell you later in the episode if I remember. But based on what you know about me, where do you think the highest probability is that I ate last? And that's the only clue I'm going to give you. Ooh, that's a nice jacket. Uh, and a matching sweater. Let's see, my jacket is worn. Is this one pristine? Pristine. New jacket time. Okay. Um, the pub is actually not worth it. I don't even need any more medical supplies. What I need more than anything is um, fire axe. And I believe there's going to be a fire station if I head south. But I'm not looking at the map, so we will just see. I don't want to take my eyes off the screen. But south should be this way, yeah. Let's see if we can see a city. I don't see a city. That's okay if we get a little bit lost today. I kind of want the suspense of not knowing if my base is intact for the Esme series, so that by the time Esme gets there, that's a cool little bench right there. Did you see it? It's up on that rock. So it's kind of like a, hmm. Will, will it be there when, when she gets there? I don't see a big city anywhere. <laughs> I thought there was uh, one down here. Well, let's follow this trail for now. All right, well, I think I'll do the reveal here in a minute. If you haven't put your guess in, that's on you. All right, we're on the blue trail. The last place I ate. I bet you guys got it right. The last place I ate was dun, 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 in and out Yeah, I love in and out Actually, the last time I was out with a, a group, and it was like a, a... Well, that's a cool pond right there. Dude, this is really scenic here. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, up here in the north. I was at a, a restaurant where the... You know, burgers just like twenty dollars a plate. You know, for like, you know, it's like, and I'm sitting there eating it, thinking, 
this is like way more expensive between like the food and then the soda and then the tip and you know this big group this is a, this is like really expensive and i would actually prefer an in and out burger to this and if you don't know an in and out burger they just went up because of the um here where i live they hiked fast food work up to twenty dollars an hour so everything just got m more expensive but before that, it was under 10 bucks for burger fries and a drink. A double burger fries and a drink it was $9 and change, which down here is like as cheap as it's going to get. And it's better than everything else. So I would take In-N-Out over, over like the, the fancier burger chains like Chili's and Applebee's and Texas Roadhouse and all that. All right, there's something down there. We're just cruising today. We are just getting lost in the apocalypse, and we don't care. When we bring this series back, after the Esme series, finding our way home, uh, we'll make our way home. Hopefully. There's a barn down here. Let's go check it out. And let's see if we can find uh, a cool tool. I need gas too for my gas stove I'm making sure I have a bandage queued up in case I come across a bear a great game. People who criticize the game say it's like a running simulator, but every other game in the world is like action, 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 like town short drive, town short drive, city short drive, you know, even State of Decay 2, it's just everything's right there. This one, you really got to think it through. It's going to take you some time. You got to cross landscapes and through forests and not get lost and navigate. It's great. We got a hunter stand up there. We got a barn over here. And I'm heading east. You know, we do have the apartment in the city. So that could still be standing, and I bet that it is. I bet that it is. I haven't been there in so long, I forgot the combo. I'd have to, like, look through. Yeah, I'd have to look back to find that. That's crazy. many hiding spots in here it makes me nervous okay nothing nothing over there let's check back here let's go pristine pickaxe or something awesome some boots how are my those are working boots they look good oh, I got the assault boots and they're looking good too so I've got this meat I just don't have a gas can to cook it. Sorry, I got one cooked that I can eat. It's in the pan. Big pile of poo right here, I think. Don't know what that is. Alright, there's a road. Yeah, we are just cruising. Well, I think right now, while we're moving, I'm going to read your comments from last episode, which was a while ago. So I'll read those comments, and if I finish up the comments early... Look at these clouds. It's amazing. I may play some zombie radio. Alright, enjoy the comments, and um, get your comments in for this one, Last Restaurant You Ate. All right, your comments from last episode were a while back, but they were amazing comments. Steven said, Daisy on Daisy with a heart. Doja Man, when I was seven to eight years old, I remember bad dudes fighting ninjas in NYC or on a semi-truck. What a throwback to the mid 80s. Funny, when I was 15, my first job was at an arcade, Sam's Town. I spent the 90s playing a lot of the classics. Man, your first job was at a freaking arcade? That is amazing. Bishop, NBA Jam, LOL. 
All I remember is boom, shakalaka laka, and he's on fire. I remember those. I can hear that voice in my head. And talking a ton of trash with the guys while playing. Solid memories. Thanks, Sauce. Tom Jones, Galica, lots of quarters or space invaders. Simple back then, but man, I collected all the cans all week just for that game, uh, just for that game room on Friday night and Saturdays. What a life back in the 80s. I miss them days and those friends from back then. Okay, now I'm depressed. <laughs> Let your heart not be troubled, Tom. We're playing DayZ, and that's pretty amazing. But those growing up in the 80s was incredible. I loved it. That Canadian guy, RIP, all-time favorite arcade game was Time Crisis. Yes, I remember that. I love that recoiling action of the blaster. Yes, that was classic. Easyo says, this is my favorite series so far. Definitely keep it up. Oh gee, I'm trying to. I'm I'm enjoying the splatter sauce series, even when I can't find you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we were doing a hunt sauce series at that time, live stream. Les Allen says, I love the old arcades, Pac-Man, Space Invaders. I had the old Atari, the one uh, with the wood. Yep, I remember that. Uh, let's see. And the game, Galaxian, was uh, the same as Space Invaders. Okay. Yep. I thought you misspelled it, but you're right. Uh, Gecko Kitty. Arcade was Mrs. Pac-Man. I'd like to see clones in the lab. Love the different storylines you've invented. Well, clones in the lab you have seen at this point. Wayne, thanks for the book. Uh, I'll buy a hoodie soon. Nice, Wayne. Uh, as soon as gaming ideas, as far as gaming ideas, just be yourself. Hey, that's good. That's good. Thanks. That's good advice. Joe. It probably dates me. Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man. Also, definitely keep the series going. It's my favorite DayZ content. Well, I did take a little break, but we're going to do one similar here, um, just as a freshie, but it's basically going to be the same. And then we'll come back to DayZ again. Uh, let's see. Steven says, I have two favorites, Kung Fu and Karate Champ from way back in the 80s. Used to burn up some quarters. <laughs> Grim, in my mid-40s, uh, I'm in my mid-40s, but I still don't, but I still didn't too many arcade, but still didn't have too many arcades in my area when I grew up. But I remember playing uh, the final fights at a local pizza place. Didn't have much money, so didn't get too far in the game. But I enjoyed the people uh, beating people up with Hagar. All right, I don't remember that one. Do I remember that one? Final fights. It sounds familiar. Java, Defender, Atari, Star Wars, and Asteroids. Marvelous says, This is such an interesting take on Daisy. What do you imagine Daisy's life was like pre apocalypse? That's a great question. Was she a student or an adult with a career? I think you guys need to speak to that one. Let me know. What was her life like before? We can build and construct her life for next episode. Yep, says Wayne. The water missions are pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep that water game up. OG. Um, I mastered Yi Ri Kung Fu. I knew every combination and had LSD, my initials, in all the top 10 scores. 7 Eleven, love my money. Dude, that sounds classic. Gaming at a 7 Eleven, a Kung Fu game. Mr. Grey Ghost says Asteroids, one word, classic game. DCWL Gaming. Hi, dude. My arcade game I played and loved the most was Pac Man and Pinball. Uh, let's see, I could have hours playing. All right, there we go. Ryan, good one, DCWL. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the four-player one. All of those four-player games were great. The Simpsons, I remember that one. Yep, Dungeons and Dragons, X-Men, and OG Street Fighter 2. Amazing classics. Lisa says, Miss Pac-Man. Ian, rip axe. And do at least one more episode next week. I love this series. Thanks for your support, Ian, you the man. Tony, rip to one kill yeah sadly great content as always wish i had an xbox i would join the fun you're totally welcome totally welcome mr gray ghost i'm old i remember asteroids mr gray ghost daisy daisy she is awesome easy o daisy in the apocalypse doesn't look too fun lol okay yeah the Days Gone Apocalypse. Doesn't look as fun as the Days Gone Apocalypse. That'd be fun. Because I was talking about my kids uh, saying, you know, I don't think the real apocalypse would be very fun <laughs> in real life. Ash says, great video as always. Rip, says Gecko Kitty. Rip axe. Um, in case you're wondering, we're ripping the axe, not her. She didn't die. Hey, brother. This is so awesome. I like it, says uh, Tommy. Steven, rip. Uh, Marshall, number nine. 
Anti-Platitude. This may age me, but I love the following arcade games. Street Fighter 2, Skate or Die, Outrun, Mortal Kombat, Afterburner. It's all right. It's all right. We all love those games. Java, attention, viewers of Sawsome Gaming. This is easily the best community on YouTube, not just for watching, but it's highly interactive. Get involved. Come game with us. Meet some great people. Make some friends. All of your wildest dreams will come true. Great comment, Java. Great comment. Um, Wayne says, tell us about your training. I'm not asking about recreational stuff. Me too. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Bishop, splitting axe over a sledgy. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I made a mistake. Let's see. Rip says, Les Allen. Hey, gonna gotta get that splitting axe, says Stephen. Great comments, y'all. All right, we're gonna keep looting about and moving about with Daisy. And I hope you don't mind. I hope you're looking forward to a fresh start with her sister Esme in the same world. Tra she's got to travel the uh, highway on up, maybe check in on the apartment in the city and then make her way to her home, Daisy's home, and see if it's still standing. It's gonna be awesome. town. Don't know what town. Would be nice to find that out. Boy, we passed some really cool spots. I mean, some good base building spots up there by those barns. Uh, this might be good to have, actually. Seeing how I don't have a good water source very close to home. Yeah, we, I really don't know where I am. I mean, specifically, this is cool. I like it. Looked like a bigger city to my west, to my right. I saw that it was like industrial smokestacks. I like the look here. It's a cool look. All right, well, let's check this area out. Let's see if there's any street signs. If not, I'll have to sort myself out offline, but be looking for Esme on Thursday. It's gonna be a new adventure. It's gonna be a challenge because she will be fresh. Ooh, sharpening stone, nice. Those are always handy. I got a big barn over there. Big one, a big warehouse one, like haystack and one. I am wet. Could get dry by lighting that broom on fire. We'll try it. Combine it. Combine. I'm not gonna do this long, but it is daytime. Should make us warm and dry. There's not gonna be any smoke emanating from this. Oh, there is, but I don't think it's anything that's gonna give my position away. I'll dump it in a minute. See if it gets me all the way dry. I'm not gonna give it a lot of time though. So we got the street sign here. We've got a barn. This is where we're gonna call it over here. We are one kilometer out of Hobar Nabakataka. Said that exactly right. Okay, I might not be able to hold this much longer. Hey, I'm dry. That was quick. Yeah, that was quick and effective. All right, well, let's loot this real quick. I 
Not great that that's burning there. I know some of you are panicking. I did get dry. I could probably put it in the barn. I'm going to log off in a minute. I'm not going to spend my time on it. I, I've aggroed somebody. Or not. There's kind of a lot around here. I thought this was a two-story house for a second. Alright, there's a church and a town there, so we'll check that out next episode and then head. Next time we were with Daisy, we're probably gonna be heading heading back home at some point. Ah, oh, dang it. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, there's a city right there. Alright, well, she's gonna take a little nap on the haystack here. And uh, her sister's on the way. Be looking for that Thursday. And uh, it's been fun. Yeah, check out all these other series. I gotta fix my boots on the channel. Having a nice sleep. And uh, we'll keep gaming straight through the apocalypse. I want to take a moment and show you the merch store. Make every day a little bit more fun, get some cool gear. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be caught out in the apocalypse unless I was wearing a We Carry the Fire hoodie, or Daisy Therapy t-shirt, or an oldie mug. The only thing more fun than playing apocalypse games or watching these videos is doing those same activities while wearing the gear. So check out the merch store linked below. I appreciate everything you do and I'm glad you're a part of this community.